Everyone seems to have Twilight on the brain these days, and one memorable look from the movie is Victoria's striking red ringlets. We've invited celebrity hairstylist Philip Carrion, the owner of the famed Estilo Salon, to show us how to get those tight curls you see in the film. The key thing here is going to be the barrel size of your curling iron. A little bit smaller for straighter hair and larger for curlier or wavy hair. So here's a checklist to get Victoria's look. A leave-in conditioner, an aerosol hairspray, curling iron, a paste, and a clay. The best thing to do is after you shampoo, put in your leave-in conditioner at the ends first, work it in, place your parting, and let it dry. Pin the hair out of the way, getting a section at the bottom. You want to build from the bottom up. Once the hair is clipped out of the way, take a, about a one inch section. Now if the hair is straighter, go a little smaller with the section. Take your aerosol hairspray and spray the section. Then take your curling iron and roll the hair into it, holding the tip. Use aerosol hairspray because aerosol hairspray is drier than non-aerosol. If it goes on too wet, it gets a little bit crispy and this allows it to be soft. Remember, if your hair is straight, hold it closer to six seconds and if your hair is curly already, three, four seconds is enough. Continue this process curling your hair from the bottom all the way to the front until you have a full head of ringlets. So now you're getting to the top of the hair, right through the part. And so to get that dramatic look like Victoria's, after you spray, take the iron, run it just slightly across the top of the hair and roll it towards the face. I'm dropping about an inch off of the scalp. And what that does, you'll see when I let up, is it creates a little bit of drag there so that it doesn't pop up too much in the center and it gives you that strong, dramatic center part. Now that we've curled Erica's hair completely, what I'm gonna do is take her head, turn it upside down, keep your fingers open wide so that you can rake through it and soften the curls. But I wanna use product on my hands to get that more disheveled, loose, soft, pretty look like Victoria has. I'm gonna start with the clay, take a small dabble, put it into your hands and rub it hard to create some heat and friction. And then take a little dabble of the paste and put it in and mix them together. So clay gives the hold and paste gives the shine and separation. And now really lightly so that you distribute it evenly, just start squeezing the hair. You can start on the ends and work your way up. You wanna ruche the hair like you're feeling the texture of the hair and you're rubbing it to create that little bit of, not frizziness, but it's softness to the hair. It looks more angelic somewhere between angelic and a vampire. And that's it. These are the easy steps to get Victoria's romantic ringlets. Whether you're going for sweet and sultry curls or wild and sexy with tons of volume, don't be afraid to channel Vampire Victoria for a dramatic impact. Thanks for watching Bella's How To. Stay beautiful.